Hey guys, this is Nada from Tech Testers and welcome back to our channel. With gaming being vastly popular and especially mobile gaming being on the rise, it was just a matter of time when the Asus ROG guys and girls would come up with a gaming phone. Now today we're going to be talking about our experiences with this 900 euro beast. Now let's start with the unboxing. This is a pretty unique looking box that has the ROG phone itself, a very interesting looking fan accessory, as well as the fast charger included. From a design perspective, well, we didn't really expect Asus to go with the less is more approach. The front is still fairly typical to look at, although the two large bronze red speakers do catch the eye as well. The backside, however, is just nuts with everything from the camera shape, the fingerprint reader and the various lines all over the place, clearly just trying to get your attention. It even has RGB logo in it, which, well, I guess that would be the most ridiculous or the best thing in the world, depending on how you feel about RGB. Now, as expected, Asus did stick with the headphone jack, and there is also a very unique accessory connector on the side. To this connector, you can connect the included active cooler, which obviously has RGB as well, and it keeps the phone cool as well as it makes it a bit easier to hold. The phone doesn't get very hot in normal use here in Chile, Holland, so it seems like a form over function feature, but we do imagine in certain warmer countries, this might be an issue. This accessory does allow you to connect both the charger and your headset to the same side, which is very nice when gaming. Asus is planning to sell an extra gamepad accessory that has an extra screen and it also has an extended battery, as well as various docks, but we haven't had a chance to get our hands on one of those yet. Within first minutes of using this phone, you will notice that the ROG phone has a ridiculously good looking screen. The AMOLED display offers perfect black values, fantastic contrast, and the colors really pop right out of the box. More importantly, when you set it to 90 Hz gaming mode, you can really see that your games are running smoother. They also added the air trigger feature, allowing you to press the size of your phone, which then act like the triggers on your game controller. The phone runs Android 8.1 Oreo, and the Asus skin is definitely gamer focused with a lot of flashy elements, but in reality, it does feel pretty close to the original Android in core functionality, and we are very happy with that. For the most part, the features that Asus added feel quite useful like the high performance, don't bother me gaming mode, easy memory management, and obviously changing the RGB effects. What about other things than gaming? So when it comes to camera, this camera is okay, but it's not as good as some other cameras like on a Samsung Galaxy S9, or for example, the Huawei P20 Pro, and those phones are actually cheaper. So the camera is quite quick, it's very snappy, it feels okay, but the end result just misses that wow factor. So if you're an amateur photographer and you just love your phone pictures, this is probably not the model for you. The battery life for this phone is surprisingly good because this is a very high power phone. Uh, and that is due to its 4,000 milliamp battery. Now you should be able to go throughout the whole day without having to charge it, even if you use it for gaming. But if you do put on a 90 Hertz gaming mode and super high brightness, and then you game all day, you would probably run out of battery at the end of the day, which is fine because currently I'm pretty sure there's not a single phone that can do better than this one. Coming in at 900 euros, and that is excluding any of the fancier accessories, it is clear that Asus is aiming high. If we were to review it simply as a day-to-day -day phone, we'll have to point out that the phones like the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus offer a more rounded package for a lot less money, especially if you really care about photo quality. However, ROG is not going for balance. They are aiming this phone straight at gamers. And when it comes to gaming experience, this is definitely the best we've seen so far. It has a great fast display. It has amazing speakers. It is very practical with cables and it just looks and feels great. It is super expensive, so it's probably not for everyone. But if you are looking for the ultimate gaming phone, this definitely fits the bill. Now that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what did you think about my very first phone review, as well as my very first seeing glasses. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.